I'm John Stevenson, and today I'd like to talk to you about my new book, The Little Book of Commodity Investing by John Wiley & Sons. Why commodities? Well, for the most part, commodities just don't figure for most people. They're a fringe area of investing, too speculative for many people to invest in. Well, I'm here to tell you that's just plain wrong. In fact, recent academic research has proven exactly the opposite, that commodities actually help you diversify and chop risk in your portfolio while boosting returns. So that's a pretty nifty trick. Far from being cyclical, they have long cycles. The average is approximately 18 years. So that's plenty of time to invest and be paid to wait. And with the world starting to come off the mat, with new nations entering the middle class, whole huge countries like China and India, you've got potentially billions of people becoming consumers. And they're gonna need refrigerators, stoves, cars, and places to call home. And that's a good news story for commodities. In the 60s and the 70s, 75 million people came into the global middle class in both Western Europe, North America, and Japan. This time around, it's different. We've got hundreds of millions of people in the developing world coming into the middle class. That means huge demand for agricultural commodities, steel, iron ore, coking coal, natural gas, oil of course. China right now is central to this story. China already is the number one buyer of energy, just surpassing the United States of America. Coking coal, iron ore, copper, zinc, aluminum, they are the key to understanding the story. And in the little book you'll learn about all of these factors, the ways to play it from ETFs to commodity trading to buying commodity producing com companies that should benefit in the bull market ahead. If you consider the investment alternatives, what are you left with if not commodities? Stocks have gone nowhere over the last 10 years. The S&P 500 is down 24.1% over the last decade. Housing was at the center of the recent collapse and bonds at two decade low levels of interest rates have nowhere to go but down. Commodities are it, the next bull market's here and that bull market is in commodities.